13. It's due to rain this hour, so that's why I've got my waterproofs on. Uh, walking through Eagle Tin Mine. Uh, lots of chimney stacks still up. Um, day 12. Oh, that was a tough day. The uh, underfoot terrain. Path, it lasts about 10 meters, and then you'd either get a rocky piece or another bit of uh, bouldering. Definitely the toughest day in terms of not being able to get a rhythm. Cape Cornwall, uh, according to the guide, it was the place to come before Land's End. It's just a chimney at the end of the headland. That headland, way out there, is Land's End. Probably about an hour or so before we get there. from Land's End, going all the way around to the lighthouse. secluded beach with people on it. So they must either live locally or they know they're renting a cottage just over the headland. Let's get across the river. Day 13, um, a lot easier uh, terrain than previous days. 
Um, in fact, I met a chap on the on the way, and we both agreed which two sections were the worst sections to date, and uh, which is quite interesting. But today was fairly easy, um, relatively easy. Yes, there are up and down headlands, but you're basically walking around headlands, around the next headland, which was quite handy. We started at um, what's it called Prindine Watch, which is where we're at a camp. Uh, went round to Land's End, highly commercialised. Uh, had my picture taken um, and then pushed on from there and I was trying to get as close to Penzance as I could and I've ended up in a bay um, my tent is just by the sea there's the sea there's the tent um, and tomorrow the objective is to get through Penzance so it looks like there's a long section through Penzance and try and get to a campsite beyond Penzance so I can have a shower, clean some clothes, and so forth. Um, most of the villages today, there were no shops, so I didn't actually have any provisions. Um, I bought something at one of the last sort of cafes, which I've had for tea. Um, due to rain tomorrow, when I start, and due to rain for sort of four hours in the middle of the day. So that'll be interesting, because it does change the paths. They become more slippery. Um, and uh, slightly more dangerous, but yeah, we'll see what happens, day 14.